Hi and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. In today's video, we will learn how to streamline pattern matching by defining global regular expressions and referencing them in your items, triggers, and low-level discovery rules. Let's start by creating a global regular expression. Navigate to Administration, General, Regular Expressions. Press the New Regular Expression button. Start by providing the global regular expression name. You will reference it in your items, triggers, and discovery rules with an at prefix. Next, select the expression types and define the sub-expressions. Our global regular expressions will be used in log items, which will collect Apache access log messages. We will collect entries related to get request errors. Our first sub-expression will match the error number, while our second sub-expression, result is false, will be used to specify the HTTP response codes, which we will ignore. Once we have defined our sub-expressions, let's open the test tab. Here I will paste an example entry from the Apache access log and press test. We can see the result for each of our sub-expressions and the final combined result. Now let's update our log item with this global regular expression. We will navigate to configuration, hosts, find our host and click on the items button next to it. Here we will find our log item and open it. In the item key, we have to replace the regular expression with a reference to the global regular expression that we just defined. To do this, we will use the at symbol and put the name of the global regular expression between quotation symbols. Once we have done that, we will click update to apply the changes. Remember that global regular expressions can also be used to match patterns and triggers and filter discovered entities in low-level discovery rules. This way you can quickly reference existing global regular expressions without having to worry about making typos when writing the regular expression by hand. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.